Hello everybody, my name is Lumo and welcome to this week's Lump Date. Now, this one's a bit of a weird one. So, I've been working consistently on a project for two months now and it isn't going very far. Now, back during the initial adpocalypse, I had a couple of ideas of what to do if YouTube went down. So let's, let's, we're gonna dive into this section by section, we're gonna talk about what's happening. No, we're not getting a divorce, don't worry. So. Part of growing up is accepting and learning to work with and work upon your flaws. And one of my critical flaws is overscoping and overpromising. In other terms, feature creep. I get too excited and I say things, hi, it's your boy Sean Murray. <laughs> so, basically, uh, what's happening is uh, I've realized that the content structure that I had set out to do is not feasible for one and a half dudes. Why do I say one and a half? Because, uh, Alex just got another job and I'm very proud of him. But that means I can't use as much of his time because he needs to focus on the job that pays him because this one can't. And he was helping out on, like, a volunteer basis. So, we have to work around that. And that's not the whole cause. The other cause is... This structure that I set up was just not feasible. I wasn't able to really make a game that would do what I wanted it to do and be sustainable content. It wouldn't, even if it was, it wouldn't be up to my quality of standards. So, what ended up happening is I had to put my pencil down and go, I have no idea what we're gonna do. So then I thought, what are we gonna do? So we got a couple more options now, at least, now that I've figured that out. So, I know we have the D&D podcast coming up, that's gonna be a chunk of my time every week editing, but, I mean, that's every other week, so it's not the worst that it could possibly be. I set this up to be <laughs> initially stress-free. So I'm thinking we go with the plan that I had with, uh, what if YouTube went under thanks to the Adpocalypse. The plan with that was to make an overscoped game intentionally. Like, overscope the game, scale it back down to something that sounds fun, and then work on it. And that's all fine and good, but what does that have to- that's basically what you were just doing. So, here's why. The intent is to make it a multiplayer endeavor, still the last project, yeah I know, hold on. But basically, it is- I'm trying to think of how to word this. Its intent is not to sell a narrative. Its intent is to sell a game. So, the intent is to have bi-weekly playtesting sessions. And that's- that's the video. But... I'm not really sure how long that'll take me to get set up. I... Two months? But this is the thing. I know not to promise it, because I know that this takes a lot longer than I really expect every time I say it. So I don't want to promise, but that's the hope. And I've got the pre-production all down. You can kind of hear it in my voice. I have very little faith in this plan. But I don't know what else to do. Because the thing with game development is it is the thing that I love, and it is my passion. And I want to combine my two passions of YouTube and game development but I can't seem to do that in a way that sticks to the brand that I want to sell of a pseudo-comedian using video games as a medium. And I hate that I've kept you guys waiting for... Uh, we're going on year two right now, so at the end of February 2020, it will have been two years. So I've been just trying to figure out what fits what can go into this circle hole, like what content can we put on Thursdays. Because stream edits are one thing, but I don't want to just be bootleg RT game, you know, I want to I wanna have my thing, the thing that only I can do, and that is, this is that. But it's just trying to find a way to, that I can format it and fit it within my schedule, because in case uh, I haven't ra hammered this in enough, I work two jobs, and then streaming, and then YouTube, and then editing down a podcast, and then running a Final Fantasy guild, and then also crying. That's a full-time job. But yeah, no, I got a lot that just happens on a day-to-day -day basis, and it's hard to fit things in, but, like, I need to. This isn't me putting, like, oh, oh, if I don't, I'll die. No, no, I know that. I know that. This is just the hobby that I do to wind down. So, I... I, I think I've got the plan, and that plan is to make a game that's overscoped and then just do playtesting with you guys, keep it involved, but we'll we'll see what I decide on. I know this was kind of a disappointing lump date, because <laughs> it basically just says, Hey, welcome back to square one, you piece of shit. But I've got a good feeling, and that's all I can really chase at this point, because I don't have much else past that, besides a design dog. But I'm still refining that, so... 
We'll see. I'll keep you guys in the loop of where it is next week, but until then, my name has been Lumo. Thank you for putting up with this, and as always, I will see you in the next lump date.